Hey folks, Jake here with GSSI, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use Flex Mode, a feature as part of the Flex NX concrete scanning system. Unlike traditional 3D, where you have to collect a series of grid lines in order to create a 3D view, Flex Mode is a 3D rough out tool that allows you to move essentially without a grid across your scanning location to create a top-down depth slice 3D view or a 3D model that you can manipulate. Let's get started. To begin with, we're here at the home screen of the Flex NX. In the recent projects panel, I'm going to select a project and then I'm gonna select the Flex Mode icon, which looks like this cube here. Now, at the Select Concrete Type screen, I'm gonna select my concrete type in order to advance to collection or I can snap the QR code at the top right to watch a video tutorial on how to use flex mode. So I'm gonna select moderately dry. Now this is the uh, calibration screen. So I'm gonna hit the plus icon. And I'm just gonna gently move the flex NX system back and forth. Now the flex NX system is essentially using a reference object to geolocate where the flex is in space. So while we're collecting data, the system knows where it is relative to the data that's being collected relative to the reference object. So now when we're collecting data, all we really do is saw the system back and forth. When I reach the confines of the box I'm scanning, I just shift the positioning of the system a bit, like so. And so you can see the screen beginning to populate data here. And I can collect the top half of my data now. Now it is important that I try to collect in straight lines, sawing back and forth. But as you can see, they're not perfectly straight. And that's all right. They don't need to be. So I've collected my data in this block. I can collect more or less, so I can collect at a higher level of detail, meaning that I collect more lines running back and forth, or I can collect fewer. So I can either speed up the time of collection, or I can maybe take a little bit more time for collection, but maybe the image would look better if I collected more lines, more detail. For now, this will suffice. So I'm gonna hit the stop icon, and now it's created my flex mode view. So now I can adjust the level of contrast by sliding my finger up and down on the left side of the screen. And I can also adjust here the depth slice on the right side of the screen. So I, I can see here I'm all the way at the top of the slab, the surface. As I slice down, I can see these two PT cables that are crossed. We just have some cables in this particular test slab. And then you can also see that we have positioned at X and Y, we have rebar as well. So I can see all of that in this view. And again, I can modify my contrast. And then up here, if I tap the cube, it's going to create this manipulatable 3D model that I can turn, okay? Now, I can adjust the contrast on this as well. Now, if I want to snap a picture of what I have here for a report, I simply hit the camera icon. And the same is true of this particular view. If I want to snap a picture here, I can snap that button. Worth noting here too, on the left side, this kind of fly out menu here, if I hit the gear icon, I have my contrast slider. I have my depth slider too. And again, I have contrast, the left side, the right side. Some people may appreciate having the sliders here in order to view it. And that's it for flex mode. If you have any questions, you can always contact the training department at GSSI. Signing off, I'm Jake Farrell. Thank you for watching.